morning. morning. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben. I'm Rainy. This is the Turtles of Awakening real early. And he is screaming. What? Stop screaming. They always yell at the mic. Uh, we're tired, okay, guys? We're here today to talk about sleep, and we figured we'd do it in our sleepiest state. Tired? You're fully dressed. Yeah, I do this first thing in the morning. When I wake up, I jump up, put my socks on, I clap my hands, and I say, today is going to be a good day. Well, I'm just kidding. I don't do that. Doing. But but I jump up and I get dressed right away. That's how I roll. Uh, and I'm still cold. <laughs> anyway. Remove these. So sleep time for mm -hmm. us. Starts with removing glasses. The toddler. We have a toddler. He sleeps in our bed. And we can't. It's the cold season, so we really can't push him off into his own bed. We don't, you know, we can't, like, run a heater all day in his room. Right? We don't do that in our room. Our own room, we just get under, like, six comforters. <laughs> Two. Don't exaggerate for the people. Two plus a, a leopard print blanket at our feet. That doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> and then all of our body heat keeps us warm all night long. Yeah. And then cats. Cats, cats, cats! Did I say cats? Cats. <laughs> Oh, I throw cats off of me all night long. I sleep with them under the blanket, spooning me. No, they like to lay on top of my blanket. You know. Yeah, it's because they don't feel safe enough to spoon <laughs> Good, me. Good, I throw them off every time. <laughs> it's because you sleep like a goddamn rock. Yes, I do. I sleep like a goddamn rock. Do you ever have dreams anymore? Mm -hmm. Really? I haven't dreamed in a while now. In a few mm -hmm. weeks at least. You have to reconnect with your consciousness, huh? Maybe. You just don't dream? Seriously? How's that even possible? To just Lately. move to bed and... I, I have so much thought going on during my day that dreaming is dreaming. I... You know what I mean? No. Like, during the day, I'm thinking about what I gotta do all day, taking care of my task all day, dealing with things that come up in email as they come, so when I go to sleep, there's nothing to think about. That's just me. But you don't dream about random things? Like last night I dreamed that... Not once we watch a movie, you know? Mm -hmm. If I watch an action movie, I'll be in an action movie in my dream, you know? Last night I had a dream that, like, it was the end of my high school and everyone was getting married. Yeah. And so, I don't know. been in high school for very long, so... In my dream, my mom was, like, dying. So she asked to marry me, but it wasn't, like... It was more like asking to give me away for marriage, you know? Okay. So she put a ring on my finger before anyone else did, so that way people would see that I was eligible except nobody wanted to marry me and people were already having babies and I was like so confused and I kept asking myself like I feel like I feel like somebody already did and I'm missing something you know obviously my real life but in my dream I'm yeah. like what am I missing you know yeah and I have dreams like that I find it hard to detach dreams from reality from reality from dreams you know what i mean i feel like if i'm gonna have a dream it's gonna relate to real life yeah see i i don't have that kind of thing you know what i mean like i was up I can... all night screaming at you and then you pushed me off of a building that's because we were fighting the night before you know what i mean <laughs> that's not real life though yes it is you pushed me off a building before <laughs> it's just interesting i mean i lately have been able to no, I'm in a dream, you know, so it's... And that's weird. I've never done that. Yeah. I have, like, my whole... My mom taught me when I was younger. I kept having bad dreams, and she told me before I go to bed to say that this is my dream, and I'm in control of it. Interesting. So I did that the first time, and it worked. And so that's just... My mom basically taught me that I am in control of my dreams, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool, Mom. Yeah, because I, I love having dreams. I like to dream because I know dreams aren't real. It's just like an exciting event that happens in your sleep. And I'm all for exciting, stimulating, dramatic events. Especially dreams may if come. they're not really happening. Watch what dreams may come. Why? It's uh, Robin Williams and it's about dreams and it's very bizarre. Like it'll trip, your, trip you out. Okay, is you it old? You look past the religious part of it. But yeah, it's old. It's like 90s, maybe late 80s. Okay. It's a good movie, Robin Williams. What dreams may come, and it's just, they talk about the afterlife world, the in-between world, the spirit realm, you know, like they... I like Slumberland with Jason The whole Momoa. time. Oh, no, this is way older. The whole time in this movie, he's looking for his wife. 
who committed suicide. Well, that's depressing. It is, because she's stuck in the middle. She's a lost soul. Yeah, that's sad. And he gets to go to heaven, and she can... I like Jason the most. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's deep. Uh, I like Adam Sandler. Yeah, I like bedtime stories. Bedtime stories, stories. yeah. <laughs> Those are funny, too. Just... <laughs> but, back to the subject of sleeping. How many cats do you guys sleep with? <laughs> How many toddlers climb into your bed? <laughs> and what size is your bed? Because I'll tell you. And right what now, size is your bed? What size is our bed? We sleep on a full. It's a full. That's barely bigger than a twin. Yeah. <laughs> and it feels that way. <laughs> and it sucks, yeah. And it's a, uh, it's like five years old, but oh. it's a Walmart mattress. Springs are coming up. The yeah, springs dude, are sleeps. like all over the place, and they're poking out from the mattress. I'm almost to the point where I'm ready to sleep on a couch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been thinking about it too. Or like but the dog floor, already claimed the couch. Or an air mattress or anywhere that's not our bed. We should bust out our air mattress and sleep on it tomorrow. See how it feels. Mm. With three people, it would pop. <laughs> <think Yeah>. so? <laughs> and a cat? Yeah. Uh, see, that's the problem too, the cats. <laughs> exactly. We need a new bed. We can't do bachelors anymore. We gotta get a bed. <laughs> Yeah, except, see, the reason why our bed fell apart, I mean, no, it, it's just a Walmart bed. Yeah, it's just like, we should use But it. I think if it had, like, a box spring under it, it could have, like... Definitely improved things. Yeah, like, delayed the inevitable. <sighs> so, how do you wake up in the morning? I do coffee and my live streams. That wakes me up. I go, how now, brown cow? And I shake a lot and I'm awake. Yeah, you have a nice wake-up routine. I wait until the last possible minute to get out of bed, and then I have a really hard time getting dressed, and then an hour later while I'm at work, I realize that I forgot to eat food and forgot to feed my child, and I probably could have been a better mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Because I don't live mindfully. I live, like, procrastinatedly. Yes, she's a procrastinator, and just like most people. I feel I've I've never met anybody as ridiculous as I am when it comes to doing things right away. Yeah. Plus, the toddler doesn't actually eat in the morning. He's eating. <clears throat> oh. I gave him strawberries, blueberries, yogurt, marshmallows, and veggie straws. That's a good breakfast. Not bad. Aside from the veggie straws, that was weird. You could look at that. <laughs> no, I wanted something <laughs> filling and not frozen and cold you know yeah. so, a little dry yeah and see i i would just make myself a bagel and then eat it i eat those at like midnight bagels you didn't eat the last one did you there's one more i think and it's for me <laughs> but i um i want to live more mindfully when i wake up i i do i wish yeah. i think in the winter it makes getting it up. a lot harder yeah getting up maybe just since you don't really drink coffee drink hot cocoa in the morning i'm pretty sure blind neil does that I, it still involves effort. Cocoa. Every morning. Yeah. Microwave. I don't need a drink to wake me up in the morning. It's I just, just a hot liquid for me. It gets me going. makes my gas go away. And then I can, like, poop and it's gone because it's all hot, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel that. I just, um... And then my body's ready. I want to... This is how I envision <laughs> my perfect morning routine. Is... I wake up at the sound of my alarm, and I get out of bed, and I get dressed. And you climb into a Bugatti. And, <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then I go, I was going to say downstairs. And then, I, <laughs> and then I go into our kitchen, and I make uh, breakfast, you know? Yeah. Ideally, that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> but instead, I think of everything else I could do in the morning, and it's none of that. You know, those crazy people you see in the movies... Where, like, the families in the mornings, uh, the mom's just cooking everything in the house, right? While cleaning as she's going, the dad's reading the paper, you know, while we're <laughs> drinking his coffee. Kids are going nuts. Kids get out the door. Dad goes out the door, still sipping his coffee, goes to work. And then the mom finally takes off her apron, and then she goes to work, too. <laughs> like, what the fuck happened to the world? <laughs> so, off topic, I decided of a TikTok idea. Ooh. So there's a trend going around. I think I've told you this, and it's like you know, if 100 people can send me a dollar, then yeah, I tried that. It didn't work. Yeah. So Troy I, gave me a dollar. 
I'm gonna take various <laughs> videos of our shitty house and our <laughs> shitty car, and I'm gonna make a video about it. I'm gonna say if 200,000 people can send me two dollars, <laughs> then I could pay cash as is for the house down the street. Or if 10,000 people send me two dollars, I can get a car that'll drive me five hours twice a month. <laughs> Or 10 hours to see my kids yeah and that'd be nice i know so and, yeah. and, and that's just the thing is you could you could always you know do what everybody else is doing do the gofundme and, and beg for change you know but i'm just gonna just see if it right, takes you know? off trend wise doesn't because feel i right. mean you know that it house be blessing it'd be a blessing you know and i'm you not know that house on the other side of the creek the one i like it's like half of a two-story like half of its two-story but the, uh, there's like one story, half of it's one story with like the kitchen and the living room. Is it that like million dollar house off on the corner that keeps getting rented out? And... It's not, it's it's like 500,000 is what they want to sell it. Two story brick house, right? Yeah, yeah but yeah. if you give them 400,000 in cash, no one's going to say no to that as is, you know? Of course not. That doesn't even go on your taxes. <laughs> yeah, like I don't even need it like an inspector or anything you know just i want to buy the house but as is if you started to go fund me and you got two hundred thousand dollars or whatever you would only get like forty thousand of it right like no. taxes are going to be deducted or no no well, i don't want to start go fund me i just want to see if this tiktok video will go viral it's a tiktok video that worked yeah for this person it wasn't yeah. even a go fund me no what? yeah so wow that's pretty incredible i'm gonna just try it you know i got enough videos of why the crappy house and yeah, the crappy why <laughs> i'm putting the craziest dumbest shorts out and i apologize <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to grow, man. I'm trying to do whatever I can. But yeah, know? that was super off topic. I just I thought of that this morning. You know, I woke up thinking, God, it'd be nice to like go downstairs into the kitchen. You know, like I feel like be fancy. It puts, <laughs> it puts yourself in a new perspective. You know, upstairs. I think it'd bedrooms. be harder to get out of bed. <laughs> I don't. I gotta go all the way downstairs. It's turn like the heat an adventure on. <laughs> every time you go down the stairs. You gotta go turn the heat on downstairs. No, because you live in a house with heat. It's a brick house. You a know, house with like, heat or not, you gotta turn the heater on and off so you don't use it all the time. Yeah, but that's what like the thermostat's for, right? I don't know. I've like, never had a thermostat. To adjust properly. I don't know. It's sitting on an acre. <laughs> we could homestead, you know. Is it on an acre? <laughs> yes, it's God, on I wish one I could picture acre. This place. You know. Anyway. That's a dream. You know how I want to wake dream. up. I want to wake up. And feed the chickens outside. And you want to wake up to your rooster? No, because <laughs> I don't want a rooster because that involves not being able to trust what you're eating. And having comes to punch eggs. a bird every once in a while. You know what I mean? <laughs> having a rooster means you have to punch a bird. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just I think that I would love to wake up and go outside to the chick tend to the chickens, you know, and I just that's chicken tender. Or you know, go to the garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, grab some tomatoes, make yeah. you some breakfast, grab an egg while you're out there. Exactly. Throw your tomato and your I egg I want to be skillet. able to wake up mindfully, but you know, the only thing we have in this house is what's in this house, and it's just kind of boring sometimes. Yeah. Nothing to tend to. That's right, guys. We're, we're like homesteaders at heart. Yeah. Yeah, we're meant to be home all the time, fixing and cleaning and cooking and doing all that weird shit. Exactly. <laughs> 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 you know what it reminded me of? What? Jamie. My sister? No. Nope. Oh. Jamie from Abducted by Aliens. Why? The one time I was abducted by aliens. Yeah. Because she wears her glasses down there on her nose, way down there. Oh. <laughs> so I saw Jamie, so. Well, fix it. It wasn't easy to get Shout that out to way. Jamie. <laughs> Tell me if you think that looked like you. I mean, I don't know. So We're anyway, tired, yo. We've got dreams and <laughs> aspirations. And when I sleep, they come to fruition. And when I wake, I make them come to fruition. I just feel like most people live in a comfortable house. No, I don't. See, I feel, see, she feels like most people are better off. And I feel that most people are worse off. I, I grew up ghetto, and all my friends had it worse than me. You know what I mean? I was always in a trailer, and their their apartments were fucking trash. You know what I mean? Like, nasty. 
Yeah, you, it's all about the company you keep, but you know. Well, that's true too. Yeah. I make fifteen hundred a month. How much do you make? <laughs> and that's all of our income, you know. And Sixteen. That's in Arizona, man. <laughs> that's nothing. <laughs> Where minimum wage is higher at McDonald's than anywhere else, you know. But we could work our life away and afford a twelve hundred dollar a month well, house. Sure, you sure. Know? We can have a pool and we can never see each other. We could, you know, let the system raise the kids. Exactly. All that good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not how we choose to live our life. No. It, um, it's been a morning, huh? You feel good about it? On that note, we thank you. <laughs>